So measure, measuring the success of a TAC plan really begins with identifying the flow of the TAC. So if we've got a, a plan that looks reasonable and we're, we get we start implementing and we find that there's roadblocks and hurdles that are affecting that TAC plan, those are some of the first signs that tell us that we've got an issue and might need to recalibrate the plan. Yeah, so there's a lot of ways to get back on track when we're talking about a schedule. And the last uh, solution I look for is uh, overtime and throwing more people at it. That really shouldn't be the solution. And more typically, there's underlying challenges or opportunities such as um, a client or a project team working with our clients to identify uh, changes and not having pencil down points and uh, allowing people to change the plan is really one of the underlying elements. And so uh, a lot of the times what we'll do is we'll regroup with the entire team. We'll take a step back, do a retrospective or understand what's happening or what's influencing the plan and, and readjust. Great question. So the last project I was on, officially where I was managing the schedule, uh, or as part of the team managing the schedule, what went well was some of the collaboration and us using visual aids to plan the work and, and leveraging some technology to, to take the plan into the field. But really it was more so increasing the awareness of what we were building and de developing a flow and a, and a rhythm to executing the work. The challenge on that job was we had a couple participants who would react to challenges and change the plan frequently, which basically impeded uh, the momentum of the team and uh, created uh, secondary challenges that people had to manage.